Hey everybody, welcome to episode number 28 of What's That Pepper series. Today's featured pepper is the White Ghost. This is a beautiful pepper variety uh, grown by Brandy and Arthur. They sent this to me a few days ago and these are some of the most beautiful peppers I've ever seen. Um, they sent a few different varieties so I will show you guys that in a bit. Before we look at the peppers, I'd like to show you a shirt that I created for the community. This is the Pepper Lovers Community t-shirt. The design was created by Jesus. Jesus, thank you so much for creating the design. So this is what the shirt looked like. This pepper here is the Staracha pepper, uh, a creation of my own. And if you have not seen the review of this pepper, I will provide a link in the description so you can take a look. Anyway, today we're going to look at the White Ghost. This was sent to me from Brandy, and as, as I mentioned earlier, it's just absolutely gorgeous. The White Ghost, uh, basically just a white variety of the Boot Jalokia. And uh, I did a few uh, reading on this uh, before I did the review so that I can provide some information. This is actually a natural occurrence and it's not a cross of anything. Um, that's what I read. And um, it's in the ghost family so there's so many different colors. I mean Boot Jaloka is probably one of the most uh, widely recognized peppers uh, of the super hots because when you say ghost pepper everyone knows what they are. Um, they come in so many different shapes and colors. The, the red one is the, way, the one that you see most commonly. Uh, they have the chocolate, which is a very, very beautiful variety that can be very hot. Um, and, and the red, as I mentioned. Uh, there's some peach here, and I believe these are orange. Or these are orange, sorry. This is the peach and this is orange. So, and these are the white. All of these were grown by Brandy and Arthur. They did such amazing jobs. I mean, when I look at these, I mean, you can tell how much care they put in these peppers because they just look so amazing. But anyway, uh, we're gonna go ahead and cut these peppers open, uh, the white ones, and then I'll let you see what the inside look like and we'll give this a test. So uh, these are very, very hot because they are super hot. So uh, the white ones, uh, they can range from 850,000 Scoville units uh, all the way up to a million. So they're, they're very, very spicy. So. Okay guys, here's a close-up look at all of these beautiful peppers grown by Brandy and Arthur. Um, if you want to uh, talk to them about these varieties, I will provide a link to their G Plus uh, page and you can go and check them out. They did such an amazing job as I mentioned. Look how beautiful these are. The red one looks just so amazing. Chocolate one as well. The peach one here and then there's orange one here and then the white ones so um, look how beautiful these are these just they look so nice and tasty that um, it, could, <laughs> it might fool you because uh, you know they don't look so hot they look very tasty and uh, when you eat this they <laughs> they will they will burn so um, uh, I will go ahead and cut all of these open so that you can see the difference uh, uh, of how they look on the inside because uh, we're only going to do the white one today because um, I, I think I have done the red ones already and um, the Jay's Peach goes, uh, Jay's Red goes and you know and so on so uh, I will provide links to uh, in the description so you can take a look at that but I want to show you what all of these look like inside so that um, you can sort of like have a picture okay this is the white one very beautiful looking on the inside uh, it doesn't look very hot but <laughs> don't be fooled by the looks of this yeah it smells just like a regular ghost okay so we'll go ahead and cut the chocolate one open as well this is much larger than the white one And when you handle peppers like these, super hot, uh, make sure to wear gloves. <laughs> I'm not doing it, but uh, I, I recommend you do that when you handle these. Look how beautiful these are. Th 
pretty nice size wall, very thin. And the placenta runs down the middle. Uh, very typical uh, of the uh, looks of of the ghost. And this particular one smells very floral. And that's just how I, when I cut uh, most of the ghosts open, I, the first thing I notice is how floral it is. Wow, this, this smells much uh, stronger than the white ones and much more floral. And it, it, it even smells hotter. So now let's look at the red one. And here is the red one. Wow, the red one looks even more dangerous than the other two. Because placenta is very, very large as compared to, to those. Very nice, beautiful color on the inside. Good amount of seeds, walls thin. Smells really good and floral. This one is much more floral than this. So, so far the, the chocolate one smells the strongest. And here's the peach one. This peach one is much more firm. Uh, the pepper feels more dense and uh, very, very firm. Wow, beautiful looking on the inside. This is the peach one. This one smells not as floral. Uh, it smells like a, reminds me of like a, a like a seven pot or something like that. Yeah, not a floral smell. I actually prefer these. Uh, the floral smell is a little bit strong for me and I like the smell of these much more. Okay, and the last one we have is the orange or yellow. Uh, it looks more orange. That's the inside of these. These two smell very similar. So we have four different varieties here. Um, this one smells the strongest, much, much floral. Uh, this one here smells less as floral, but the smell is very strong. Uh, this one has a very faint smell. It doesn't smell any much like those. Yeah, the, this is, it smells uh, the least, but today we're going to try the, the white one. So I'm going to cut this here and test it out. And I don't eat whole pods. Um, I just wanted to, my videos are just to show you what the peppers look like, how hot it is, give you a little description. But um, I don't do any stunts because I really can't handle too much of the heat. But uh, so that's the piece I would try and I'll give you uh, a little description. Okay, here it is, the white ghost. And I just took a small piece from the tip of the pepper and those, uh, the, the, those pieces are the least um, as far as the heat goes. And it's not very spicy if you take it from the, the tip. But if you eat towards the placenta, that's where all of the heat comes from. So uh, here we go, the white ghost, um, let's try it. Very floral, just like a ghost. Wow, heat. Heat is pretty immediate. Same ghost heat as what I. <clears throat> not, not too bad. Um, you can tell that this is a ghost variety because of the way it attacks your tongue and taste bud. Um, it's pretty hot for being that little piece towards the very top of the pepper. So I can imagine if you eat towards the, the placenta, it's much hotter. But the white one, definitely not as hot as the red one or the chocolate one. And uh, I've had the Jay's Red Ghost and the Jay's Peach Ghost before. The red one was ridiculous. It, it's probably 
the hottest goes I've had is the Jay's Red. And the uh, the Jay's Peach is probably my favorite of all of the, the ghost variety. So yeah, um, typical ghost taste. Uh, if you like ghost pepper, you would love this variety. Uh, the white one especially is so pretty. Uh, that's one of the, the main things that attracts me to this pepper. Just so beautiful. Um, the, the pods of these, uh, they'll start out light green and once they ripen, they will turn into a white color. So they, these used to be very rare, but I think they're more common now. You can find them at many uh, sites online. But uh, always do your research. Uh, try to avoid the eBay places because I've had so many people tell me that they, they never got the right stuff. And you don't want to wait three months and find out that these are not the ones that you, you actually wanted. So uh, anyway, uh, heat is gone and not too bad. So um, the white one definitely not not the, not as hot as the red one or the chocolate ones. But uh, it's a good ghost variety to try if you like ghost pepper. Um, Arthur and Brandy, these are absolutely gorgeous. Thank you for sending this. Uh, wow, they, they they grow so many different ghost variety and um, they all look so beautiful. So uh, check out Brandy and Arthur on G+. Uh, you can join our Pepper Lovers community. They're, they're on there. And uh, you can post and, and talk to them and ask questions about these varieties. Um, they are very good at growing these peppers, as you can tell. But uh, that's it. Um, if you guys uh, uh, have not been through the Pepper Lovers community, uh, make sure to do that because there's such so much information there uh, if you want to start growing peppers, sweet peppers, hot peppers, uh, whatever kind of ornament peppers, whatever. Lots of information. The people there are the most amazing people I've ever met online. So um, come join us. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching and thank you Brandy and Arthur. Thank you so much for sending this.